so Geria is fitted with a uh, with uh, auxiliary passes. Uh, those are uh, those are presets uh, that are that are accessible through the the, the drop list that we used before. So, for instance, um, we if we want to render occlusion, we just choose uh, the occlusion uh, preset in uh, in uh, in the layer. We have we have IDs uh, that we'll see uh, later. We have the the Z pass, which is the the depth uh, of the scene uh, to the camera in float. We have the the position in camera in camera space. We have the position in wall space. The normal uh, in in, uh, in camera space and the normal in wall space. We also have the texture coordinates, for instance. So let's let's have a look, a uh, closer look at how uh, render passes are built. So if we take this render pass, which contains a layer and a technical uh, pass, an AOV, we can drag it, drop it into a new uh, window, and we can uh, see that uh, a render pass is actually a shader, which is um, which is uh, which is called during shading. Uh, each layer is actually uh, each, each layer is actually a, a shading output, and each AOV is also uh, a shading output in each uh, layer. So we can pretty much uh, do whatever we want uh, using shaders. Those uh, those technical passes, those auxiliary passes, are actually presets. So we can uh, we can just switch them with whatever we want. For instance, uh, uh, we can we can use a texture. For instance, we drag and drop a texture from the Explorer, and we replace the SDs, the texture co coordinates, with with a texture. And so this uh, technical pass will will render the scene with this texture for the all the, the objects. So to to use uh, ID ID pass, so we we can just create a new uh, output and select the ID uh, pass. So by, by default it will render as black because uh, objects in the scene don't have any ID uh, assigned yet. So in the render graph we're gonna assign um, IDs, an ID shader uh, for each and every object of the scene or group of objects. So for the character, the set, and the cyclo. So we, for that, we use uh, the material override node, and we are going to create simply uh, an ID uh, attribute, which is a color, uh, in the, in the graph in the material override, and we're going to override the um, override the graph, the main uh, the main flow, with uh, this uh, this row, always. Always as an override because the the, the main flow is uh, is already set up. So for this character, we're going to choose uh, a red color, and it simply re renders as uh, as red. So we can duplicate the material override uh, with different colors for for the set, for instance, and for the cyclo. So the cyclo will be rendered in blue now and we merge the override in the flow so we have now an ID pass with uh, three different colors so we can we can use this uh, this uh, this setup to uh, override uh, some uh, s some layer uh, some AOVs uh, shaders. So we're gonna we're gonna uh, uh, remove everything. So for our character, uh, we're gonna add um, a nucle an occlusion um, override as a color. And we're gonna switch to an occlusion pass, so everything renders as an occlusion, but the character, which is rendering as black, because the the occlusion is overridden now. 
so we can see that uh, this is actually what uh, makes the makes the occlusion render uh, with a different color for this uh, this character. Uh, so, uh, f using this uh, principle, we can uh, we can we can change the the override from uh, from a, a blank color or a solid color. We can copy uh, a texture, drag and drop a texture directly in the parameter. So it creates a sub shader, uh, especially used for this uh, selection in the render graph uh, in the occlusion pass. We can even go uh, further. By uh, by creating a, a specialized uh, uh, shading network, so we create the occlusion pass again, and we drag and drop the title directly in a window. So it creates a, a, a shading network directly in a render graph, which we can use to uh, to do whatever we want. So, for instance, we're going to multiply this uh, texture by uh, by a number. So we uh, we merge the the number and the texture, and we see switch the the binary operator to uh, multiply and, uh, and then we have uh, we have a texture with a multiplication uh, control so here we have our override which is actually a shader and uh, in this shader we have uh, we have a texture which is multiplied by a number <coughs> 